I am Thomas, also called Didymus, the twin. You know me as Doubting Thomas. Even though I was a man of wavering faith, my devotion to Jesus was sincere. Like him, I had been a carpenter, and so we shared that common, uh, you know, that common occupation, and I felt a closeness to Jesus in that way that, that we shared that work. Um, also, I am, I would call myself a realist, and it kind of confused me and was actually discouraging to see all the criticism that was mounting against Jesus. We disciples, we were almost too afraid to go up with Jesus to Jerusalem that one last time. And we were talking about it and trying to decide whether or not we would go. I, I just started to get impatient with this, just, it's like, let's just make a decision. Let's go. You know, even if we have to die, let's just go. So uh, we went. Even now, it chills, it's kind of chilling to think about how prophetic those words were. So during the Passover time, all of us, we were together, and that day was really dark and oppressive. And it actually fit the mood as Jesus was telling us, he says, I'm going to go away. And I, I asked Jesus, I said, Lord, we don't, we don't know where you're going. Can you show us the way? And at that time, Jesus, he revealed his purpose to us. Um, he, he answered, he said, I'm the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So I was, I was trying to, uh, you know, just sort that out. And, but I was, um, I was asking him about the physical place called heaven, but Jesus used that as an opportunity to teach us about this spiritual place called faith, that we could trust in him. And through that faith, then I was actually able to go to that physical place of heaven. So, um, I was just trying to sort sort all that out and during the after the time of Jesus crucifixion I was it, it just wiped me out I was desolate I would say I was depressed and and I just kind of isolated myself from the other disciples I just went off to be by myself and uh, I just it was too much to deal with and I just didn't want to be around anyone so I just kind of set myself apart. When I did finally join the others later, um, I joined them in the upper room, and that's when they told me, he's risen. But I, I just couldn't believe it. I'd, I'm, I struggled with that, and, and I told the disciples, I was pretty adamant about it, I said, I, I don't believe it unless I can actually touch his hands and feel the piercing in his hands and put my hands in his side. I uh, just, no, I'm not. I just refuse to believe that. And, but that's, that's when Jesus called my name. And it, it, was, it was just amazing. I, I had to believe. This man is my Lord and my God. And Jesus restored me to that faith graciously. So 
So later on, I, uh, I ultimately, I, I died a martyr's death, but I was glad that I was able to serve my Lord and Savior, the King of Kings, that he would, he would come and he would, instead of rejecting me, that he would come and say, you know, believe in me, I have, I've risen. And so I was glad to serve him and just thankful for the mercy and grace that he showed to me in my life. Thank you.